everybody welcome back to my channel it's that proud black woman again and thank you so much for all the love you've been showing watching my videos subscribing i'm really really grateful so uh today first of all it's so hot out here like i don't know where you're living but uh comment down below what's the temperature uh what's the weather like uh where you live right now i live in uh canada and uh, in toronto canada and right now it's 35 degrees like that's all very hot like celsius now 35 degrees is really hot so please guys try to <laughs> ensure that you are hydrated like right now like my blood is drying up it's so hot so anyway going into today's topic before we continue remember subscribe like comment share and make sure that you always turn on your notification uh, bell because that's the only way we, you're gonna get notified anytime I post a new video so let's get into it today's uh, topic is actually what is diversity and inclusion a lot of people don't know what that is so I'm just going to go through uh, some I took a uh, I was thinking about it you know a lot of places don't know about diversity and some people believe that diversity is the same thing as uh, inclusivity you could be diverse in your workforce, like you have people from different uh, backgrounds working there from different, depending on their age, sex, um, sexual orientation, everything like that. But it doesn't mean that they're, they're actually being inclusive. What do I mean by that? So uh, I'll talk to you about diversity and I'll talk to you about inclus uh, inclusion as well. So these are things that you could put in place if you're in a position of authority, if you're HR personnel, you could put it in place in your work, uh, in your work so that that way a lot of people feel more comfortable, more safe and um, more productive in the workplace. So diversity is about empowering people like by respecting and appreciating what makes them different. In terms of their age, their gender, ethnicity, religion, disability, sexual orientation, education, national origin, things like that. So those are like, if you're hiring, you should put this into consideration while you're hiring. Like, make sure that you have diverse backgrounds, representation from different backgrounds. Don't let it just be uh, a dominant, uh, just one um, race or something like that. Make sure that you're being diverse. Also, diversity also allows for uh, exploration of different, like, differences in a safe and positive nurturing environment. I don't know if you caught what I said. So, it's a different, it, it's a different, it's a different ball game if you hire from diverse background. It's another different thing for them to feel safe to work in that background, uh, in that uh, environment. So, diversity is actually exploration of differences and making sure that it's in a safe and positive and nurturing environment so this goes beyond just tolerance towards ensuring that people actually feel valued people like you celebrate those differences rather than like ah, i'm only tolerating that person i don't know if i'm passing across the message the way, the way i want it to go but you know, it goes beyond just offering somebody from a, di a different background a job ladder. It actually is ongoing. It's something, it's something that's supposed to be continuous. So another thing I was going to talk about, about diversity is it makes like, you know, individuals come from different uh, work experience, life experiences, as well as cultural differences. Why don't you use all of this to the advantage of the company as well? Rather than push them aside, why don't you try to look into it, explore it and see what this life difference is and what this um, uh, experiences can do for you. Like how can they use those experiences to um, further advance your organization, right? So that's another thing that diversity does. So it's not only, uh, it's a win-win situation. It's not just for that individual alone, but also for the growth of your company of your organization as well so what diversity does is it recognizes these differences and it learns it makes the company the organization learn to respect and value every individual irrelevant of their background did you catch that it makes the company uh, learn to respect and value every individual equally regardless of their background regardless of their age, their sex, their sexual orientation, whatever, right? Now, 
going into inclusion, as I said, uh, as I said earlier, you know, I said that diversity doesn't connote it doesn't like necessarily mean inclusion. You could be diverse. Your workforce could be diverse. There could be a lot of people working from different backgrounds, but that doesn't mean they're included. That doesn't mean that they feel um, accepted. That doesn't mean that they feel like they're contributing, that their contribution to the company is being um, noticed, right? So inclusion is the effort of, a, of an organization to ensure that individuals having different backgrounds are accepted, welcomed, and equally treated. Simple. So it's like the uh, is the company taking that extra step to ensure that we are not just hiring from various backgrounds, but we are making them to feel included. They are making them to feel that their opinions are valid. They are valued within the organization. Is making sure that they have enough representation, that they are not just being overlooked. Another thing that inclusion does is it gives a sense of belonging to employees. It gives them that sense of belonging and then in, in turn boosts their engagement. It boosts their productivity. So as I said, it's a win-win. It's a win for the individual. It's also a win for the company. Right? So it is a shift in the organization's mindset and the culture that has visible effects, like you can see the effects. It's not enough to just train people or to just talk about it once in a while. It's actually changing policies within the organization to show that they are committed to making sure that everybody feels included, right? So it's like, it could be things like uh, participation in meetings. It could also be like access to information, right? Access to information. It's a lot of things. It could be during the uh, Christmas party, making sure that some people that maybe they are like Hindu and they don't eat uh, meat, making sure that there's vegetarian options. It could be as little as that. So it's not just being diverse, but also including people so that they feel wanted, so that they feel appreciated, so that they don't feel segregated. Another thing that inclusion does is it engages each individual and makes people feel valued as, uh, as being essential to the success of the organization, right? So you feel like, yeah, I'm actually contributing to the success of this organization. This is not just a paycheck for me. I'm actually being valued. I'm actually contributing to the success of the organization. And that's a good feeling. Because a lot of people want to work in a place where they feel appreciated. They want to work in a place where they don't have to look over their shoulders because of their differences. They, that's why that will boost your employee retention rate. Rather than because if I feel like I'm not being accepted, I'm being pushed aside, of course I'm going to keep looking for other jobs. And that's for the company will cost you time, will cost you money, will cost you, like, it will just cost you a lot having to change employee every six months or every three months. You want to retain people so that where you can train them and then they can in turn boost the success of your organization. So in the longer short of my story anyway, <laughs> the longer short of my story is that diversity is the mix, right? Is the mix. You employing people from diverse backgrounds, you employing people with different sexual orientation, you employing different genders, it's the mix. But inclusion on the other hand is getting that mix to work together perfectly. So you can have one without the other. If you just have diversity, you're like, yeah, you can employ people, but they're, they're not represented. They're not, they don't feel safe. They don't feel, they, they, they don't feel tolerated. But with, that, uh, with diversity and inclusion together, you get the perfect mix. Anyway, <laughs> so that's what I have to, I just felt like that's a very important thing that people need to talk about. HR personalities, leadership in the, uh, in the workforce, you have to think about these things, diversity and inclusion. It's really, really important. Okay? Thank you again. Remember, stay hydrated. It's really hot. It's really, really hot. You don't want to go through uh, heat stress or any kind of uh, heat-related illnesses. Okay? So stay hydrated. Make sure that you're happy. Go for a walk every now and then because especially things are beginning to hope, uh, open up now. Like here now uh, the restaurants are already having patios open so you could go 
grab yourself a brunch or lunch or dinner just make yourself feel happy don't be depressed at home because the pandemic is making a lot of people depressed i know okay so i love you guys i'm going to see you in my next video until then stay blessed love you bye <laughs>